you can notice that your alternator is overcharging when it produces excess voltage than what is required. This can be noticed when the battery voltage gauge reads high, battery runs hot, or when the battery case starts building out in prolonged cases. There are a lot of reasons why your alternator might overcharge. However, we cannot avoid the possibility that a bad ground can cause your alternator to overcharge. But is this a thing? Can a bad ground cause an alternator to overcharge? Yes. There are a few reasons that a bad ground can cause your alternator to overcharge. The situation is rare, but we can't overrule its possibility. A bad ground can cause an alternator to overcharge when your battery loses connection. This creates an open circuit that gives the alternator room to overcharge. The process continues till the alternator reaches a high voltage. Car manufacturers sometimes install load dump protection systems in electronic control modules to prevent components from blowing up when they reach a high voltage. If there is a false battery charge level, your voltage regulator can inform the alternator to compensate for the false condition. Can I wire my alternator directly to my battery? No, you cannot wire your alternator directly to your battery, nor should you connect it directly to the engine. To wire your alternator to your battery, you will need a cable that runs directly to the positive side of the battery. You must attach the cable from the alternator output post. Aside from safety reasons, there are a few reasons why we believe you shouldn't run your alternator directly to the battery. When you wire your alternator directly to your battery, running your engine without a battery is impossible. In most cases, you can start your engine, remove the battery, and the engine will continue running. This is because the alternator is supplying the required power to the engines. It is also important that you know that the voltage regulator, not the battery, senses the amount of voltage and current needed for your car to run. At the required current, voltage, the battery will charge up for your car to run. When you bypass this system to run your alternator directly to your battery, you will slowly kill your car's battery because the alternator cannot instantly charge your battery to the full. What happens if your alternator is not grounded? When your car's alternator is not grounded, your car will run on an incomplete circuit. This will affect your battery's performance and the voltage supply to it. It can also lead to low or bad charging output on your battery. As early as the 1970s and 1980s, car producers weren't creative with installing alternator ground connections. In most cases, they used a rubber mount, which runs on a separate earth wire which is always braided. Sometimes, these wires go bad, or the companies forget to install them. The case will run, and the alternator will do its job, but the battery will become non-functional because the circuit is broken without a ground wire. How to tell if the alternator is overcharging? There's a joke that you wouldn't want to burn your car because you are riding with an overcharging alternator. There are no indicators that driving on an overcharging alternator will set your car on fire, but it will definitely damage your car's electrical components, light bulbs, and even the battery. To prevent these from happening, let's guide you through easy ways to tell that your alternator is overcharging. Your battery will start heating up and swelling. With a multimeter, you will notice that your battery reads at high ranges when running, above 14.5 to 15 volts. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.